Okay, so this is the Meditation Sutra, Story of Queen by Day. In the kingdom of Magadha, during the time of the Shakyamuni Buddha, his cousin and brother-in-law, Devadatta, looked up to Shakyamuni and desired to be a great religious leader like him. Aha! I have now also achieved psychic powers. And with this, I shall show Shakyamuni Buddha that I am wise and powerful. Ha! Then he will have to make me the head disciple. However, despite his newfound powers, without wisdom and with easily evident ambition, he did not rise in the eyes of the other disciples. Hmm. Okay, then I'll have to talk to others and get a following for myself. Then Siddhartha will recognize my wisdom and might. But despite his powers, no one came to hear him speak or become his follower. And in his anger, his thoughts became evil in his hatred for the Shakyamuni Buddha. Bah! Those stupid simpletons! They don't know wisdom even if it hit them in the face. I must get rid of Siddhartha once and for all. Hmm. But how to kill the Buddha? Hmm. Let me think about that. I know. I need powerful allies. Devadatta hatched the plan to influence the young prince of nearby Magadha named Ajatasattu. O wise and handsome prince, Ajatasattu, it would delight me, Devadatta, no end, to be able to serve you in any capacity that you desire. Oh, really? Oh, yes. Your look is so wondrous that you pale even the most beautiful flowers. Your face glows with the light of a wisdom of a thousand suns. Tales of your mighty deeds are known up and down the Ganges River. Tell me more. And with that, Devadatta was able to soon gain the confidence of the prince. With Devadatta's advice and magic, Ajatasatru was able to gain the obedience of the king's guards and advisors. Soon, Devadatta starts to tell Ajatasatru that he would make a better king than the king, and that he should take over the kingdom. Look how weak the armies are, and look how disorganized your masses. The country will be much better if you ran things. You think so? My father's still not old. There's no way that he'll let me take charge of anything. If so, then you must act for the good of the country. You must take over the country. You really think so? No question about it. I'll organize the guards for you. And with that, the scene was set for the coup. Ah, Ajatasatru, nice to see you. And how are you today? Ah, Father, I am well. In fact, I am so well, I have decided to do something new. Guards, my father has decided to retire. Take him to his room. What, Ajatasatru, what is the meaning of this? Guards, what are you doing? I'm having me this very minute. No, Father. And if any of the advisors have a problem with that, you can join him. Ah, Ajatasatru, you are being too kind-hearted. But you do realize that for you to have real authority, the old king must not be around. Otherwise, the people will become confused about who is the leader. Again, for the good of the country, you must make sure that the old king is no more. No. But for the good of the country, I must. Father, you must die. No, do not listen to that man. He is filling your head with nonsense. Ah, but that nonsense is allowing me to do this. I now pronounce you King Ajatasatru. Now, take that man away and make sure that he is gone. Oh, oh King Ajatasatru, pardon me for my imprudence. However, you must realize that I will look very bad for you if you order your own very, if you order your very own father to be killed. However, if you just let him die by having him start in prison, then you would have left it for the gods. Hmm. That 
That's fine. Guards, put him in prison. When the queen hears this, she was appalled and tried to appeal to Ajata Satru. Oh, Ajata Satru, what is going on? I've heard a terrible rumor that you have taken over the throne and have thrown father into prison and that you're going to starve them. Tell me that this is not true. Tell me that this is some silly mistake. Ah, my, my. Isn't it the former Queen Vaidehi? Yes, the truth is that King Ajatasatru now reigns, and he will make Magadha the might of all of India. Now, if you leave the king to work on matters of state, and if you will go back to your knitting, you will find him to be a kind and benevolent ruler. The queen attempted to convince Ajatasatru to change his mind, but nothing worked. Eventually, the queen started to smuggle food into the king by coating her body with honey and mead as she visited him daily. O oh, mighty and wise king Ajatasatru, the queen by day he has requested that she be allowed to visit the former king. Should I allow this? Huh? Don't bother me with such trivial issues. Let her do what she wants. There's nothing that she can do for that old man. Let me enjoy these wonderful grapes and wine in peace. That Devadasa won't let me drink if he's around, but he's decided to go for a visit. He won't be back for a month. So the queen continued to smuggle food in daily. Twenty-one days later, Guard! Yes, King Ajasatru. Is the old king dead yet? Uh, no, King Ajasatru. The old king, Dimsar, is not dead. In fact, he looks as healthy as you or I. What? Has he been fed? I told you not to feed him. No, King. You made sure that he gets nothing to eat. Then who's seen him? Just the queen, as you have instructed. No! I'll search her next time that she tries to see the king. She must be bringing in food to him. If I catch her, I'll cut off her head myself. Next day, when the queen was about to see the king Bindisara, Ajatasatru lay waiting. Search her well. She must have something. I see nothing, sir. What? Let me check. Ajatasatru finds the food and is very angry. He is about to cut down the queen when... Oh, great and merciful king, Ajasatru, hear me out. Although princes have some time have killed their fathers to become king in all of our history, they have never touched their mothers. For a son to kill his mother is a sin higher than all others, and no man in Magadha will fear to uncon such a person, much less a king. I beseech you to spare your mother's life. Fine, then let her rot in prison as well. Saying so, Ajatasatru puts the queen and her attendants who assisted her into prison. The queen is saddened by her plight. Looking upon the western setting sun, which could be seen from her cell, she said, O Shakyamuni Buddha, upon motion, I, by day, he who was fortunate enough to hear you talk, urgently beseech you for your guidance. I am saddened by the fortunes of my plight and see no one to enlighten me. Oh, hear my call. High up on Vulture Peak, Shakyamuni Buddha was meditating, but was able to hear her call, and with his disciples walked on the air to see Queen Vaidehi. What ails you, my daughter? O oh, world honored one, thank you for hearing my call. My son Ajatasatru, whom I have cared for with all my love, has taken over the throne and has imprisoned my husband and myself. I no longer have any hope in this world. Please tell me how I can ever be free from this torment. I see your torment and hear your anguish. However, there is still a way, even in this most harshest conditions. In the West, there is Buddha Amida. He is the Buddha of infinite light and life. As manifests around all Buddhas, he has a pure land where everything is conducive to enlightenment. And be contemplating the aspects of this pure land, it is possible to become enlightened.
With that, the Shakyamuni Buddha teaches the 13 contemplations. The setting sun, the water of the pure land, jewel strewn ground of the Mita Buddha's pure land. Trees of the pure land, ponds of the pure land, objects in the pure land such as the bells, Amida Buddha's lotus throne, image of Amida Buddha, the essence of Amida Buddha. Avalokitesvara, the Bodhisattva of Compassion. Mahasamaprapta, the Bodhisattva of Wisdom. People who are aspiring to the Pure Land. And finally, Amida Buddha and the Bodhisattvas together. Then, Shakyamuni Buddha talks about nine classes of people that aspire to the Pure Land. The last class are those who cannot do any of the practices. And for this last class of being who cannot do anything else, there is still a way, for Amida Buddha does not forsake anyone. That is, by uttering his name with the sincerest of hearts, Amida Buddha will appear before you and guide you to his Pure Land. I put my faith in Amida Buddha. Namo Amidabhati. Namo Amidabhati. And with the joy in their hearts, Queen Vaidehi and her attendants bow to Shakyamuni Buddha. And King Ajatasatru, who was spying, comes out and says, O oh Lord Buddha, I realize that I have done something terrible. Father, Mother, please forgive me. You are free to go. No, 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 no,